Okay, we're looking at lesson 11, puzzle 9 specifically, if else with B. So here we notice that there's a cloud that's covering the flower, but it might also be a honeycomb. We don't know. So we're going to use the if else block, this uh, block right here, to collect nectar at flowers and make honey at honeycombs. So this is essentially what we're doing. If there's a flower, the bee's going to get nectar. Uh, once. However, if there's a honeycomb, the bee only needs to make honey once. So essentially we're doing, if it's a flower, we're gonna make, I'm sorry, if it's a flower, we're going to get nectar. Or else, if it's a honeycomb, we're going to make honey. Okay, so, so what do we need to do? Well, we're gonna move the bee forward two times, and like I said, if it's a flower, we're gonna get the nectar. If it's a honeycomb, we're going to make honey. Okay, so to do that, we're going to move forward, move forward. If I just say to get nectar, we're going to notice that, oh, we, we don't know for sure if that works. Okay, we can only get nectar from flower. We didn't know that was a honeycomb. If I make honey, again, it's a flower. We don't know if it's a honeycomb or a flower. If I put both, same issue. It's going to try making honey first, and since it's a flower first, it, it won't work. The code will not work. So we're going to use what we call conditional. If it's a flower, then what will we do? We're going to collect the nectar. Okay, if. That's the biggest thing. If it's not a flower, it's not going to do this. Okay, so they're saying anything else now. If it's not a flower, anything else, it's going to, we're going to go ahead and say make honey because it could also be a honeycomb. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and reset and run the code, and it wasn't a flower, so it's making honey. Okay, so that's uh, that's lesson eleven, puzzle nine.